My name is uh, Bernie Dees. I am the founder, creative director of uh, Group Fly Clothing, a streetwear brand based out of the Midwest in the heart of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, started a brand in 2008. Basically, my wife and I took 10 G's out of our uh, savings account that we actually have saved up for a minivan, and, um, and we started a brand. And, uh, you know, it's been a long, crazy journey, but I, I believe that we're just getting started with, uh, I, mean, I mean, with the brand, I guess. <laughs> My name is Dakota Watson. I am the uh, brand manager for Groovefly Clothing. I'm also gonna be the store manager for the hangar by Groovefly. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, all of our sales accounts. I also do uh, web design, uh, work on some development as well. Um, kind of a little bit of a trick of all trades. Um, set up our Tumblr, just getting everybody aware, trying to get more brand awareness to, to what we have going on. Um, log, log down that Zoomies account too, so that's, a, that's always a good thing. The um, desire to start a brand was, uh, man, I had a backdrop of um, graphic design, you know, hip hop, man, back in my old days with skateboard. And so, um, you know, I, I was getting to a place in my life to where, um, man, I really wanted to combine all those um, elements into something uh, creative, you know. So um, I'm very passionate about um, being creative, passionate about uh, influencing culture. So and we started a group fly to do that. Uh, me and Vernon, we met through uh, different contacts. Uh, I was friends with friends that he was friends with as well uh, through a little events and stuff. And so uh, one day I showed him some stuff. I was like, hey man, I have my, my little brand that I was working with. And he's like, man, you should, you should come work for me. So working at Zubies five days, uh, my two days off, we come out here and then just started killing the game, basically. You know, when I, when I was coming up with the name, people was like, man, what, what, what the heck's a group fly? You know what I'm saying? And so like, uh, we came into the name, I, I knew I wanted the word fly in it. I wanted to, you know, uh, take all of my different loves, you know, whether it be hip hop, graphic design, skateboarding, I wanted it to encapsulate itself in a movement or in a brand. So I came up with the word Groove Fly, and everybody's like, man, what the heck is a Groove Fly? What's a GRP Fly? Um, some people even pronounce it wrong, Grip Fly, but it, it's Groove Fly, and, and the definition fit us perfectly. It's a group of people elevating to a higher destination. And so um, that's what we're all about, you know what I'm saying? That we're about, you know, progressing towards that ultimate dream, you know? So. A lot of our merchandise will say uh, fly or die, I and mean, that just comes from the mere uh, fact that you know, you're either elevating towards your dreams or taking up space and dying. Man, why clothes? You know, I mean, I, I believe like, man, growing up, man, I, I, I mean, I was blessed to have like awesome parents. They worked hard and they're able to give me cool stuff, but um, you know, I always like to present myself the best way possible, you know what I mean? Clothes to me is like, you know, it's your projection of who you are into the world. When I was in eighth grade, I used to wake up every morning and crease my jeans. Why? Because I want to be fresh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it's literally like, this all the stuff going in the store. So how do you come up with, I guess, the ideas for for the hats and the different samples you have? Uh -huh. Man, a lot of it is just, um, it is pretty much stuff that I don't wear. Yeah. There, it's like whatever, you know, I think people will take off and like, you know what I'm saying? So if I think we'll take off, we'll do it. I really wanted to uh, be able to uh, creatively express myself through uh -huh. clothes, you know what I'm saying? And not only that is, um, I, you know, there's stuff, there's pieces of clothes, you know, different ideas I had for t-shirts, apparel, that I wanted to see come to life, you know, and, you know, rather than pay somebody, you know, $80 of my own money every month, man, I was like, man, I want to make my own clothes, you know, so. Tell me something, man, like, as far as, like, moving with the trend, do you? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to, man, in order to stay current. But at the same time, uh, you kind of still do what you like. That's a street where What do you think about, you. like, a Versace coming back in the hip-hop community now? I think it's fun because it's the whole streetwear, like luxury, you know what I'm saying? That's luxury like, streetwear. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I think you see a lot of, I think it's influencing heavy a lot mm -hmm. of uh, streetwear brands. And also, you know, you gotta think, man, to be honest with you, like, you know, you know, whether it's streetwear, whether it's um, the runway, it's all fashion, so. And, uh, and I also was greatly influenced by, like, you know, uh, I would say Pharrell, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just his movement with BBC. Uh, that Scott Sasso with 10 Deep, you know, Nigo with Bape. Yeah. Should a designer feel like uh, ashamed of, you know, getting, I guess, a uh, style and inspiration from somebody like Versace? No, I don't, I don't think so, because I, I, think, I think that high fashion looks for retail, I think it influences everything, you know, whether, I mean, I don't, I don't think you should feel ashamed of it. I was really heavily influenced by them, um, you know, the whole, um, you know, fat farm and food food stories, man. Yeah, I, I I wanted a piece of that. Yeah, what I like to see at Group Fly is is on that uh, on Ten Deep level, but Ten Deep BBC just killing it. Every Zoomy store, every store wants us. Um, but our thing is we want to like stay with our roots, stay with Oklahoma, but inspire, lead, create, and inspire stuff to just inspire people to be more than they're, you know, than they started out doing. I, I guess the genre you could really place it in is, is streetwear, you know, but um, I feel we're even moving into luxury sportswear is where I want to really go. And so, um, I mean, I really want to continue to make pieces that are affordable, but that are a little bit luxurious, you know? And so, um, I mean, I, I guess you would say streetwear, but I think that encapsulates um, your music crowd, your, your um, alternative sports crowd, your hip hop crowd. And so, I mean, streetwear is where we came into the game and where our love is, you know, I research it, I love it. You know, I, I think it's such an expressive culture, even though it's starting to be really uh, mass marketed. But, um, but uh, you know, streetwear, I would say that's the, that's, the, that's the genre, if I could, if I could really pinpoint it. So I, I do design, uh, I, I started doing my cut and sew stuff and then I just kind of transitioned more into like, uh, design type stuff like what we do with group fly and uh, I'm, I'm very passionate about it I mean, that's why I graduated college with advertising and, and graphic and fashion design so that was one of my niches that I got into I went to college for a year and I well, you're like what for a year yeah and uh, you know my mom's a college professor and um, you know um, I went in I actually I went to uh, I got my, uh, I'm an ordained minister, believe it or not. So I, I went and got my, uh, I got ordained, did that, and then, uh, you know, started doing that at an early age. But yeah, I, and then I went back to school, see, mom, I went back to school for uh, graphic design, and uh, that kind of fueled my passion for uh, creativity and being creative. And, uh, and so that kind of put me on a whole nother lane, you know? And so that's my whole education story. And I may go back. Probably not, but I may go back. <laughs> a lot of people uh, ask, you know, like, man, I, I see you got group fly cadets on stuff. You know, you got this little, this little aviation guy, you know. We have a lot of influences from the uh, Tuskegee Airmen era. I like to call our, uh, I guess our movement, people that follow our movement, I like to call them cadets, you know, because they're people that are, you know, that are elevating out of a, out of their environment and did, for something better. So like, you know, that's why we say, you know, group like cadets from some of our apparel. Um, that's why we say, uh, you know, cadet life. They had to go through so much, you know what I'm saying? They had to be creative, you know, in their approach, you know, during that time, you know, they, they, they had to, um, be leaders, I mean, they were leaders at that time, you know, they, they, I mean, they had to like build a whole Air Force base, you know, from scratch, you know, you know, and then, uh, and then of course they're inspiring people to this day. And so like, it's all about aspiring to go to that next level, you know, you know, elevating out of your current situation for a better situation. You know, growing up and, you know, being involved in hip hop at such an early age, you know, um, it's definitely an influence of what I do. You know, I mean, I, I was blessed you know, to be, uh, 
you know, to be right, you know, experiencing the height of hip hop in 85, 88, and be able to be in high school during the golden era in the 90s. And so, yeah, I, definitely hip hop is all through this thing, you know, and, and being a, a, a you know, an MC, you know, in my 20s and, 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 and now being a producer, you know, it, you know hip hop is definitely a strong influence uh, for our brand. And, uh, you know, one thing I love about hip hop is it's global, you know, so that's something that we try to do with our brand as well is that we want to have a global presence. You know, hip hop, yeah, yeah that, that, that's our, uh, it, it, it's all through our brand. You are very correct, sir. I'm a, I'm a byproduct of the hip hop generation, you know. I mean, you know, you're always going to see me. Like, it, it, I started group fly because I never wanted to wear a suit and tie. I want to sit in, in, in my boardroom, like Russell Simmons, and put my sneakers on the table with my hat on and be like, this is what we're going to do today. I'm being real on that. I mean, that, that's something that I always wanted to do. And this is brand, this brand has allowed me to do that as a CEO of my own company. Like, I go into board meetings like this, fellas, today's agenda. I love it, you know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I think Group Fly is uh, a part of, uh, you know, not just an Oklahoma movement, but uh, a worldwide movement of young creatives and, and people that, that are not afraid to take risks, you know, creatively. Quitting your job, like I did, and, and, and venturing out to do something that's never been done in a city is it's taking a risk, you know, and uh, you know, it still is a risk. But at the same time, I've got to experience so many things, and so I'm so glad that I didn't stay behind that desk, you know, and so it's comfortable behind the desk. Man, I'll tell you what, man, it, it, it's been surreal, and so, like, I mean, my first major, uh, I was like, man. I was sitting uh, courtside with uh, one of my investors, and uh, I was feeling like, you know, hey, I'm courtside in the NBA game or the Thunder game. I was feeling real good about myself. And then uh, Jared Jack came up, you know, during halftime. You know, Jared Jack, you know, Golden State Warriors. I think he he got traded someplace. You know, he's anyway, he's a beast. He be killing cats on the court. Shout out to Jared Jack. But he came up to me because, man, yo, that jacket is that jacket is tough, man. Yo, I gotta get that. You know, and I was like, man, whatever, man. No, it's for real. I need that. Give, give, my, give your card to the to our team manager. So I gave him to him. Like after the game, hit me up. What's up on our jacket? So I, I was able to send him a jacket. Man, he wore it through New York, and people were. I mean, that gave us a lot of steam. So Jared Jack, when we got to do the Kevin Durant during the lockout game, we did the Kevin Durant um, All Star game, and uh, it was just crazy that that you know to have like twenty five to three thousand shirts. Um, in the whole arena, you know, they're all your shirts, you know, so you're like, it, it was wild. Like, stadium full pack, you got LeBron on the court, Carmelo Anthony, you know, Westbrook, Harden, you know, uh, Durant, you know, they're all down there just hooping, and then the whole arena wearing your shirts. It's like, that was tight, you know what I'm saying? So, and of course, when KD wears your stuff and shout you out on Instagram, you know, that, that's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to KD, the whole uh, Durant. Uh, team over there, you know, we, we worked with uh, different artists, you know, Big Crit, you know, really blew us up, you know, when he was a freshman, Double uh, XL on 2011, and he wore our stuff on tour, that really gave us a good boost, but, I mean, th those are just some of the, the clientele that we have, you know, locally, we're, we're, we work with a lot of great artists, you know, JB, uh, Josh Ali, you know, Privilege, you know, uh, shouts out to the little homies, little Mike and Funny Bo, and they, they was actually on, uh, America's Got Talent, man. And uh, hey, shout them out, bro. Hey, they're from the OKC. I gotta shout them out. They're made they on national TV. Hey, we just got placed in Zoomies, which is a national retailer uh, for our demographic with uh, you know with our brand, you know, different different streetwear brands. And so we just got into like ten doors, doing really well. Uh, we're, we're, we're in conversation getting more stores and possibly going national. And so that that'll change the game. But you know, God willing, man, it's all God, man. I don't, I mean, I don't have a business degree, so, you know, so it's just like working hard and, you know, and just, you know, doing right by people, you know what I'm saying, and, and uh, just trying to make those things happen, and uh, the man upstairs just blessed us, man, so. McRoofly is all about having the guts to go for what you believe in, you know what I'm saying, so I guess the style that would come out of that would be just... Live your dream, go for it, you know what I'm saying? So we want to project that through our clothes. That's why, like, we're, we're cool with just doing hats and t-shirts. That's what we want to do. That's our style, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, uh, you know, basically, you know, group fly, we want to do three, three things. We want to lead um, creatively. We want to create amazing product, and then we want to inspire others to dream. How does it feel to finally be opening up like a store of your own that you're going to be a part of? Uh, it's it's awesome. It's kind of one of those things where we're we're in charge of everything. We're in charge of the production, the buying, literally everything. We're starting from scratch, and it's our way, the way that we want it. And so it's going to give everybody opportunity to see what we're about and you know, how we're how we're going to change Oklahoma City as it is. You know, every every day is it's a. Uh... It, it, it's a day to create a masterpiece, you know what I'm saying? So every day I wake up, man, I try to create a masterpiece, you know, whether it be working on uh, business deals, you know, doing, you know, doing press or, or working on that next design or collaborating uh, with creatives, you know, um, you know, like I am now, you know, it's just, you know, always want to create that masterpiece. I'm always looking for that next masterpiece. What I like to always reiterate is that, like, we're, we're a brand for the people. We're, we're here to, to help here to inspire, create, we'll help you with what you want. We're here to set off that that vibe that uh, other clothing brands don't do. It's just, you know, we're, we're like family and Oklahoma's our family. And so, and that's just not Oklahoma. We're family with everybody, whoever loves group fly. So um, that's that's basically the main thing, you know, we're, we're never gonna go away, so. You got a dream, don't give up on it. There's been times I wanna give up. I mean, there's been times where I've, I've had to slow down but um, you know, it's just you know God's grace, you know, to help me to you know keep on moving. And so like I, I believe the best is yet to come, you know. And I feel like we're just getting started, you know what I'm saying? So you know, watch for the kid, watch for Group Fly. You know, we got some major things coming. We got some more cut and sew pieces coming out. Um, we got some major moves. 2014, man. Um, you know, we're we're really positioning ourselves for it to be a major year. And so uh, I look forward to what's going to happen, man. And so. Um, you know, we're, we're just getting started, man. Fly or die, you know, fly or die. You know what I'm saying? Cadets all day, every day, you know, fly or die. I'd like to give a shout out to my brothers over at Pound Studios for holding us down this whole interview, this whole documentary process, man. It's been a, a blessing working with y'all. And peace out. Shouts out.